Our library and civic offices was one St. John's Convent of Mercy. Mother Catherine Macaulay, foundress of the Sisters of Mercy, came in person to help her sisters set up a foundation in Burr in 1840. One of the gems of Burr's architecture, this beautiful Gothic building, was designed by Augustus Weebly Pugin and built in stages from 1845 and 1856. The little turret near the church may have been inspired by French chateau architecture or by Irish round towers. The sisters served in schools, hospitals, orphanage and in countless other ways in the parish of Burr for over 150 years. Burr Library is also home to a facsimile of the MacRegal Gospel, the Book of Burr. The original is now in the Bodleian Library in Oxford. For many centuries, this illuminated manuscript, copy of the four Gospels, was thought to have been made in England. However, in 1814, Reverend Charles O'Connor of the O'Connor Don family provided satisfactory that it was of Irish origin and that the MacRegal who signed his name at the end must be the same as the one mentioned in the annals. Bishop and Abbot of Burr, who died about 820 AD. On your left is St. Brendan's Roman Catholic Church, a splendid Gothic building in a lovely setting, designed by Bernard Mullins. Work commenced in 1817 and the church was opened in 1826. The excellent acoustics were well appreciated in a town with a fine choral tradition. Handsome stained glass windows and a warm light to the vaulted interior. High up on the left is a window by Michael Dunn dedicated in 1964 to the memory of the Prince of Wales, Leinster Regiment, whose depot was at Crinkle near Burr. It represents the resurrection of Christ. A walk around the church will reveal many other excellent examples of art and craft in glass, stone, plaster, needlework, wood and metal. On your left is the fine old bridge over the River Camker, called Oxmantown Bridge. It's said to be a copy of one over the River Anio in Italy. It was built in 1817 and the arches were lowered in 1855. 